Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome. This is your Aries New Moon Eclipse Weekend Reading. We have just started Eclipse Season, bringing it in with a new moon in Aries. Leo, I'm pretty sure it is falling in your ninth house. Ninth house ruled by Sagittarius, so all fiery, all up on you here. So, ninth house, all about expansion, spiritual learning, knowledge, travel, things along those lines. Some of you may be feeling the urgency to do anything that is in the energy of anything that I have just said. But um, specifically with Aries energy... Be brave, be courageous, but watch your impulses, um, especially when they are charged up by anxieties or stress. So let's see what number Spirit is highlighting for you for the weekend here, Leo, and you have master number 22. Beautiful. I am aligned. If you haven't started seeing the twos already, you definitely will start seeing the twos. This card says you are in possession of, cre of incredible creative powers, and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. All right, Leo, with the energy of I am aligned. So this card is all about body, mind, and soul. When your thoughts match your feelings and your feelings match your actions. So you are in a large energy of some strong creative powers. So make sure you're imagining, make sure you're manifesting specifically at this time, the things that you want, the things that you are desiring, the things that you are interested in manifesting. This is an extremely important time for you to refocus away from any thoughts that are negative. Well, this is not even part of this deck, but I don't know why it's here. So I guess it wanted to be part of your reading. Card 21, freedom. So this is a bonus message. Uh, the energy of freedom supports our sense of limitless possibility, potential, boundless expression, and bold exploration. You know, Leo, especially with this eclipse hitting your ninth house, all about spiritual growth, spiritual learning, Things along those lines, higher level learning. You may be feeling a lot more aligned with what you believe in. You know, limitless possibility for yourself. Especially with master number 22. A lot of you are feeling in this energy that anything is possible. Sit in this energy because that is the energy of creation. When you have limitless possibilities in your mind, in your heart and you go for them. So let's see what else you have here. You have moon in Libra, love, card number 19. Bring peace to your life, and your relationships will flourish. All right, so I feel like for some of you, you are working through your reactions in, I want to say romantic relationships, but Libra is not only in the indication of romance. It could very much be platonic relationships as well. So it looks like you are going to be faced with being more aligned and having bold exploration, bold expression, limitless possibilities for your close relationships. Some of you, this is very specifically your love life. We're doing general message, then your love life. But if they want to talk about it now... Spirit really is in the driver's seat of the reading, so this is what they're talking on. Some of you have a moon in Libra. The eclipses are on Aries-Libra axis, so the energy is coming through here for you. It looks like, Leo, what I'm feeling very specifically from these three cards is that you have spiritually have gone through some sort of learning lessons where you are freeing yourself from limited belief systems. I can't find love. I can't have love. I won't have love. I'll never find somebody who's changed. I'll never be happy in this relationship. That You're turning the nevers into, no, this is possible for me. This can happen for me. And that is what's all about being aligned. So you're freeing yourself 
from a lot of limited thoughts. A lot of thoughts around, maybe some of you are even interested in, maybe you're wishing for a friend. Maybe you're like, Miss Machiste, love is okay for me, romantic love. I just want more loving friendships. I want more loving family relationships. So there is something in your belief system that is being freed at the moment where you are going to feel a lot more in alignment with manifesting in the type of relationships that you want to have around you. Love, romantic, family, whatever the case may be. It does look like you are in the process of creation of different types of bonds, basically. Better bonds, more uplifting bonds in your life. Some of you have specifically been working on this. Some of you, it's a great message to hear that your internal work or your guidance is heading you in the right direction. Your angel here, Leo, is the angel of past issues. Card number 23. I mean, can this get any more synchronized? All we're missing is number 20. We have card 21, 22, 23. New moon in Libra is card number 19. So some of you definitely could have been born around the 19th to the 23rd and extremely strongly resonate to this reading, but you're ready to let things go. Possibly some of you, you know, the things that you used to let bother you in the past, you're trying your best to release them. You know, we have also been in the audiobook listen of the book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And it's so interesting because in the part that we were on and the part that we were listening to most recently, it was really about creating a new personality. So being the same way will not attract in different people. We must create a different self. We must elevate, raise our consciousness levels, make things that used to rile us up in the past no longer get us irritated anymore. So I feel like this has to strongly do with other people. Leo, possibly in... Hello. That's a, that's a loud train. Possibly, I feel like for some of you in the past, you know, miscommunications, you really let that get to you. Feeling ignored, maybe sometimes when people cancel plans or don't follow through or, you know... There's a bunch of things that we could be irritated about by other people, right? But it's like you're learning here or you're going to find yourself in a pretty big energy of realizing that the less you focus on the things you want to complain about, the less they're around you. So I feel like there is an extremely strong energy of your relationship starting to flourish or a beautiful relationship coming your way, all from the fact that you have decided to free yourself from things that you let get to you in your past. It's going to be different for all of you. But you're ready to let it go. You're ready for it not to bother you anymore. Let's see what we have in the tea leaf energy. And by you doing this, you're freeing up space for better energy in these relationships or better relationships to come your way. And your tea leaf for the weekend is boo. Here you go. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So increase your efforts in being positive. Increase your efforts in being peaceful. You know, choose your battles wisely. Right? I say this all the time, especially in love readings back in the day. Don't make roommate issues marriage issues um, in that energy of, you know, feeling like nitpicking on things. Like there is this energy that I'm feeling from this reading where you're going to stop yourself and you're going to catch yourself about to complain about some things. Either you've been in this energy this week or you're going to find yourself there this weekend where you are really increasing your efforts to achieve the goal of flourishing, blossoming, beautifully loving and respectful relationships. So I feel like there's a really good connection coming in or there's a huge 
drastic change to a connection because of what you're doing here, Leo. You have master number 22, so I'm not surprised that it's this strong of an energy. But let's see what your tarot theme cards are and see what you're working with. But this definitely has to do with another person or other people, people that you have bonds with, people that you have relationship with, or somebody coming in specifically because you have released issues that you really let get to you in your past. You know, some of you may have been one of those energies that um, an anxious attachment style. You don't answer me. I'm going to send you a thousand text messages. You don't answer me. I'm going to call you a million times. Some of you are coming to the realization that doing that only aids in more of your anxiety and does nothing good for the situation. Some of you are realizing something else that maybe you were doing in close connections that you're just like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. So that means that I need to not make it a thing inside of me. So... Big shifts happening. Big shifts here, Leo. Let's see what you have. First card out. Find balance. I mean, I can't make this up. Card number two. Two, two, two. You also have the energy of dreams coming true. The nine of cups. Yeah. Leo, your alignment, your release is really bringing in beautiful wish fulfillment here. Some of you would find balance in multiple different connections. You may have extremely drastic change to your close relationships or relationships around you in a general aspect in more ways than one. And you have seek the hermit. Oh my gosh, Leo. Look at the double nines again. Or did you get triple nines last time? Leo, there is something that you have learned. There it is. This Aries eclipse hitting your ninth house. You have figured something out. It wasn't easy to figure out. It wasn't. You're figuring something out right now. You're figuring out how to bring balance to yourself, which then in turn brings balanced people to you or balanced energy of relationships to you. Libra, moon, in Libra, bring peace to your life and your relationships will flourish. Find balance. Libra, the ruler of the scales. So there is huge energy coming in for you around this time, Leo, connected to this eclipse energy that is giving you a spiritual awakening and coming to a realization of the role that you have energetically played in certain relationships being certain ways or certain people coming your way. Like I said, we have to think different thoughts for different things to happen. So if you're still thinking the same way about people, the way you've been thinking since 2009, and you're like, it's 2023, it's been 10 years, where are the better people? Do you still think the same? Are you still the same person? The more you stay the same, the more you will attract the same. I feel like this is what you're realizing in hermit mode. This is what you're seeking. This is the answer you are finding. That to change your life, it starts with yourself. To specifically change relationships, it also starts with yourself. You know, we're never going to get people to change ever. The only way we can ever change something is with ourselves. So you're doing things differently, Leo, and you're going to be extremely surprised by the wish fulfillment that comes from the different energy that you are bringing to people, to relationships, or to life. Wow, this is nice energy. This is so synchronized. Let's clarify this for Leo. I really want to see what comes on this hermit energy. And then we'll look into your love life. Because I do feel like there's an emphasis on a love connection here with this. Either one that is already around you or one that is coming your way. 
Let's see. On the two of pentacles, find balance. The six of pentacles, you found it. I mean, wow. Physical balance. There's the scales. Some of you were trying to figure out how to balance like your home life, your work life, your family life, your relationships of love on the nine of cups, the knight of pentacles. So this has taken its time to bear fruit in the physical, but you know what? That's okay because if you think about it this way, if you want something done right, you want things to be done at the time it takes them to need to be done. Sometimes it's worth the wait. Most of the time it really is worth the wait. It's just as humans, we have this instant gratification type energy. And on the hermit, page of cups. Some of you have specifically manifested in love. Manifested in a friend, manifested in an apology because of the peace you have found within. Because of the energy you have shifted inside, because the issues you have released, because of the efforts you have been putting into yourself. So you definitely have an offer coming in here in the page energy. This is a page though. So I feel like for some of you, you're becoming a little bit more open-hearted and you're receiving a little bit more love from somebody. Pages are like the first level, you know? So let's clarify this page here. Because I, y'all, right as I'm talking. Two of swords, ace of cups on the page of cups. So you do not see just yet that the peace you give to an energy, the love you give, the compassion you give to an energy, to yourself, is manifesting in a much grander connection, a much grander love. Some of you, you know what I'm you know what I feel here? Y'all really have decided to choose your battles. You didn't see it before. You didn't you didn't understand it before. And some of you, you may not still understand it just yet. That the more you complain to somebody about what they're doing that you don't like, the more you just create the energy to have more to complain about, to have more that you don't like, to have more of what you don't want from them. So I get that some of you, you're realizing that it's best to say nothing. Or it's best to let people do what they're going to do and come into realizations on themselves. And I feel like I said this to somebody in some type of reading recently, but I don't think it was yours, Leo. It could have been one of your Leo Plus, but I'm going to say it now. This is a big reading for general. If we have to ask people to apologize to us, does it really hold any value of their apology if we had to ask for it? If we have to ask somebody to take accountability, if we need to pull it out of them for them to want to be a better person. Does it really mean much? No. And I feel like you're realizing that. I feel like you're realizing, well, the more I complain, the more I tell people what I don't like, the more this, that, and the other, it really isn't getting you anywhere. Because people need to realize that they need to do things on their own. And you've, you're are in the process of realizing it, or a lot of you have realized it, and this is what's coming from it. Growth for a connection on a more emotional level. Grander love, new love. Some of you are definitely attracting a new love. Possibly you went around every single day like, I'm so unlucky in love. And then your, your reality was unlucky in love. This is giving me the more you put out there, the more you put it out there, the more you're going to receive of it. So the more you've been complaining to your person about how they've been unemotional to you, how they've been uncommunicative to you, how they've been unaffectionate to you. And you're like, well, I keep telling them Miss Machiste and they keep being unaffectionate. They keep being uncommunicative because it's not your job to project this person. It's your job to project yourself. 
And it's time for you to see how that works in the physical now. So I feel like you have just decided to sh not say anything to somebody. Where you used to complain, where you used to say you were unlucky with things, where you used to say that you just will never find anybody, where you used to do this, where you used to do that, you're not doing it any longer. You're releasing it, you're letting it go, and you're putting out there different energy, and now you're receiving back different energy, better energy. So I feel like new love is coming your way, or new emotion from your person. It's a wish fulfillment you've been wanting to have. Let's see what your love energies are. I feel like, obviously, this is about close connections and people and love. But let's see what you have in your oracle here. First card out is resolving conflict. Some of you could be resolving conflict from with somebody here. Giving them the realization and connection. Yeah, so I feel like for some of you, you have resolved the conflict within and you are manifesting a connection. Your masculine and your feminine have been fighting with each other inside and you're finally ready to resolve it and that makes you truly aligned to manifest in a connection. So some of you singles, you have resolved the conflict within and a new connection is coming in. Others of you, I feel like you have been pulled back you have let this person realize what they need to resolve and this connection will strive. Once again, you have an energy of um, an envelope, music, dancing, an island, a sunset here, a candle, some champagne. That could be symbolic for you for the weekend. Some of you are specifically, like I said, resolving conflict with somebody. First thing out, page of cups definitely could be an apology coming in. Spirit, please clarify this for Leo in terms of love. Empress, nice. Page of Wands, Chariot. Okay, Leo, you said, I respect me. I respect my time. I respect my energy. I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to complain about things. I'm not going to ask you to do what I want constantly. I'm going to sit here on my throne, male or female, it doesn't matter, and you're going to respect me, or I'm just going to find somebody who does respect me, and I shouldn't have to go out and ask for it. By you sitting in your power, page of wands, the chariot, somebody is coming to some aha moments of that their energy needs to move forward, or here comes that newer energy, page of cups, page of wands, some of you, there's two. And there's movement forward and a breakthrough in your in your love life. A lot of you is a strong breakthrough, possibly with somebody who lives at a distance from you with the chariot here. Let's see, why is a chariot here? Three of pentacles. Yeah, compromise, working things out together. Six of swords, once again, the energy of distance. So some of you, you just have been very distant from this reality. And it's finally coming into your physical where this person is finally coming into realizations, what needs to be resolved within them for this relationship to look up. Others of you, definitely a breakthrough in your love life, a breakthrough in compromise, a breakthrough in physically coming together with somebody where you may have felt like love was really far away from you. Some of you, this person has been far away is far away, or you just felt like love was just like out of your reach. Let's see, six of pentacles, I'm sorry, six of swords, king of pentacles. King of pentacles, seven of cups, to the four of swords. Yeah, you don't seem as confused any longer. You don't seem as up in the air any longer. Your energy is going to feel a lot more settled with connections. There is a dramatic change to your close relationships here. There's a dramatic change. Or drastic change, unexpected change, whatever the case may be. It's definitely connected to wish fulfillment. You may have a lot of people reaching out to you. Some of you as well, if this is in the connection, going back to the general reading as platonic, definitely could be. 
But this is what I have here for you, Leo. There's that Libra energy. You also have Cancer energy coming through. Virgo as well. But man, Leo, you have really reached a, an alignment within you that is very much connected to manifesting in the physical. All right, so I'm going to get you one of these fortune cards before we get your ending oracle because I want to see what the fortune card has for you. And you have your wish answer is yes. And this is what the four fortunes they have here. They're not going to resonate with everybody, okay? But some of you, you may hear this and be like, whoa, that's crazy. You will soon go on a long trip. You will receive an offer regarding money matters. You have a very sympathetic nature and you may receive some very fast news. Hasty news. So news is going to come your way quickly. Card number 18. All right, so let's see, Leo, your ending oracle. We're going to get from the Moonology Manifestation deck since we are in the energy of an eclipse. This is for Leo for the weekend and regarding the energy of this Aries eclipse. All right, so you have a full moon in Virgo. Take inspired action. All right, Leo. Some of you may have Virgo in your chart or around you. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. Full moon in Virgo. So this card says, this card is bursting with goddess energy. Yes. And reminds you that while it's wonderful to have lofty dreams, you also need to ground those desires by taking inspired action. Commune with the heavens, but take practical steps down here on earth. Draw down the energies of the divine by doing something as seemingly trivial as making a bullet point list of what you need to do to manifest your dreams into reality. Also know that you're 100% worthy of your, of your dreams. Ditch self-criticism and second-guessing yourself and others. Find a balance between dreaming big and being practical. It's important to believe in your dreams, but we also need to take practical steps towards them. The energy of this card will help you connect with that reality. Yeah, you're stepping into a whole new reality. I feel so. A whole new reality, I feel like specifically for the connections around you, the people around you, the relationships you have. So... Thank you, my beautiful Leos, for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you out there. And I will talk to you very soon. All of Leo Plus is done for April. So if you're interested in Leo Plus individual signed love readings, you can find that on the channel. And I'll talk to everybody very soon. Have a good one, my beautiful Leos. Bye now.